David, you know, you're talking. I'm, I'm going to come on and talk about what I would call, you know, our, our top three, our heavyweights. But on the second tier of Irish golf, you know, what shape are we in in Irish golf? Do you think, you know, and, and who, you know, like who might make the breakthrough from, let's say, the second tier to the first tier? Well, you see, the thing is that Rory's kind of made such a huge impact. It's, and it went through that halcyon period where we had three golfers from Northern Ireland in the top ten in golf. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, people sort of would ask, how can that possibly be? And I mean, uh, you got to sort of think it's a little bit of a quirk that, that that's happened, you know. Uh, but Rory's raised the benchmark so much, it's very hard, for, you know, for a small country like this here to, uh, to try to duplicate that. You know, so for the likes of Gareth Maben, I mean, they're really, really good golfers. You just saw, if you watched Gareth Maben or Michael Hoey hit a golf ball, you'd be really, really impressed. And you just sort of think, my goodness, that's a really, really high standard. You watch Rory hit a ball and you're in awe. I mean, it's just awesome to watch him hit a golf ball. I know, but to talk about those lads, it's just not as easy for them. They're not just jumping onto private planes and flying here. They're, it's and that, difficult for them too, isn't it? It's very difficult. It really is. And also to, um, the, the, with the global recession, it means in the money that's in the tournaments, it's not as great. So they're having to now chase, you know, travel long distances for less money that's in the purse. So it, it really is so tough now. So they have to try to cut corners, you know. Um, I guess it does. It's a tough, tough way of life. Real tough. I'm going to put you on the spot and ask you to pick one of them who you think might emerge. Could be, you know, the fellow who might get into what I would call, you know, the the Premier Division in uh, the coming years. I know that's a difficult thing, but give mm. us an idea who you think, listen, might have the uh, capabilities of doing that. Well, I mean, Shane Lowry, I always think is sort of underachieving at the moment. For for me, I look at Shane and I've seen him play golf. And there's no reason why that guy shouldn't be a way, way further on than he is. Um, but I don't know what's going on there. But there's something, you know, he's a, he's a phenomenal golfer. And I, I do think, I look at Shane and I think that that's, that's, he is, personally I think he's underachieving. He's an, a fantastic talent, amazing talent. 